In this video, I will show you my experience over three years with growing different bulbs like tulips, alliums, hyacinths and muscari in a lasagna technique in containers on my balcony. I will show the method, the recommended bulbs for the containers and the results over the years. Hi, if you are new here, my name is Nikki and I garden in a 20 by 8 feet deck in Garden Zone 6B7A in New Jersey, USA. Like most people, I delight in the colourful tulip fields and the gorgeous tulip flowers. So when I started gardening on my balcony, it was a no-brainer to grow tulips. In my research, I found that the lasagna bulb technique, which allows one to grow up to three different types of bulbs in one single container. This is a great space saving technique for all kinds of garden, especially small spaces. This Dutch technique consists of planting three layers of bulb, each bulb blooming at a different time in spring so that you can get different flowers from the same container in early spring, mid spring and late spring. High Country Garden website shows how the first muscari would bloom early spring, followed by hyacinths and then tulips. I started my bulb experiment in November of 2020. The recommendation is that a 10 inch deep container will hold 2 layers of bulb and a 14 inch container will approximately hold 3 layers. The rule is to plant the pointy side up of the bulbs and usually the larger the bulb, the lower the layer it is placed in. For the first container which was 13 inch deep and 16 inch wide, I planted the bottom layer with 10 bulbs of hyacinth and 10 daffodil. Since the had the approximate blooming time of mid-spring. The top layer I planted 25 early blooming crocuses. The second container which I used was taller with a depth of 21 inches so I could do three layers. The very bottom layer I decided to experiment and plant five alium bulbs which I forgot to photograph. Aliums are usually not recommended for containers or lasagna planting, but I was very curious to try. I went ahead and planted the largest alium, the giant globe master, to see how they would turn up. The middle layer I planted 10 tulip bulbs, and the very top layer was 25 crocuses. Each of these layers was separated by 3 to 4 inches of soil. Each layer of this bulb I sprinkled Espoma bulb dome. I watered the container once, right after planting and then mulched them and left them alone. All these bulbs need the cold of the winter to grow in order to bloom in the spring. Next year in early March, the bulbs already started sprouting. It was thrilling to see life when it was still cold outside and most of my containers were barren. By March 12, the crocuses were already blooming. It was such a delight to see colour this early and it felt like the grand opening of the garden year. This itself is worth taking the pains to plant the bulbs in the fall. I was surprised though that the 25 bulbs looked very sparse in the container. The crocuses were blooming 10 days and then they were already covered with tulip leaves which were sprouting up. The other variety of crocus was a little late blooming and I was surprised that the bulbs had moved around so much and some were very close to each other. Soon, these crocuses were being covered with hyacinth and daffodil leaves. The tall container on the other hand was getting really crowded, with the crocuses, tulips and what looked like two of the allium shoots sprouting. By first week of April, all ten of the tulip bulbs were blooming slowly. It was so magical and joyous to me that I could grow tulips in my balcony garden. I made sure to isolate the container and highlight them in my balcony. The other container had mixed success. The daffodil bloomed slowly one by one. Only two from the ten of the hyacinths bulbs bloomed unfortunately. Most people growing tulips in pots treat the tulips as annuals and throw them away since it is not a given that the bulbs may bloom next year. People who plant tulips in flower beds can take the chance and just leave it to try their luck. I decided to leave the bulbs in the pot all the way till next spring to see what would happen. It meant that I could not plant anything in the pot for a whole year, but I was very curious to see what would happen. 
I did not deadhead or remove the tulip leaves because it was recommended to keep the leaves since that is the way through which the bulb store nutrients and energy for next year. The alliums took a long time to bloom, almost the end of May. Out of the five bulbs I planted, two sprouted and eventually just one bloomed. Well, it looked nothing like the photo, but I was glad I could grow one in a container. The leaves of all the bulbs slowly dried up and only then did I remove the totally dead leaves. Both the lasagna containers were left undisturbed all year. I had just labeled them to identify them. I occasionally watered them, but that year we had a lot of rain, so I rarely needed to water them. The container went through the second winter and we did have days with a lot of snow. Late February, I was thrilled to see the bulbs started sprouting. The crocus and tulips sprouted the leaves together. My patience with keeping the container all these months did not go in vain. However, it seemed like all the crocuses did not bloom and they had moved around a lot. The smaller container with the crocuses, hyacinth and the daffodils did not look that great and I could see them yellowing. Soon the taller containers were covered with tulip leaves. Shortly the tulips started blooming but in the end I just got two one kind of half sized tulips. They were much smaller sized. Oh well, at least they did come up. Eventually all the tulips leaves dried up and I didn't manage to get an allium again. Again it was no globe master size but it did bloom and I was able to enjoy it in a vase for a long time. I inspected the failed small lasagna container and came to the conclusion that it had just one drainage hole that resulted in most of the bulb getting soggy due to the rains and the snow last year. I made sure to drill extra holes in the container for any future plantings. I planted two different colors of tulips in one single layer and a lasagna planting of muscari and the very popular purple sensation alliums. If you saw my previous video, you know that in 2023 we had a freak hot day in spring which stressed my tulips and they did not last more than two days. I did manage to get some purple tulips and they made a great bouquet gift with my lilacs that bloomed at the same time. The muscari was so gorgeous and I love anything true blue so they were such a delight. Two of the ten purple sensation aliens bloomed so I guess something's better than nothing. So there it is, my almost three years of lasagna bulb experiments. Hope this video inspired you to try lasagna bulb planting. It is a great way to bring some Dutch countryside in your own small container garden. If this video gave you any value, please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching my video.